There's one problem with this really good set from the Summer 2023 wave. Here's why. So, the LEGO Minecraft 2023 Summer Wave has been pretty good. It's had some nice sets in, four of them being the Axolotl House, the Iron Golem Fortress, the Crafting Mods 4.0, and the one we're talking about today, the Pumpkin Farm. Now, I may not have ranked it as first, but there are reasons why it could be the best, and it's because of bringing things back. And what I'm talking about is the Witch. The one minifigure in the set that everyone wanted to talk about is the Witch because the last time we saw it was in 2017. A set that didn't actually last that long and retired quite quickly, so not many people have that minifigure. It's an extremely rare minifigure to have, and because the Witch Hut was quite a little bit expensive of a set and didn't last very long, it's also quite hard to find and is very expensive if you try buy the set itself or even the minifigure alone. Also because it's got a custom mold for the hat as well, which made it more expensive, having it having like a new mold and stuff that hasn't been used in any other set. But the rest is just printing, so it's not as rare. It's mainly the head and hat. That's the rare things about the witch. And in the LEGO Minecraft 2023 Summer Wave, they brought it back in the pumpkin farm. Now the pumpkin farm has the witch as well as a new colour of frog, which isn't the biggest thing of it, but still, it's cute to see that they've also added another exclusive minifigure in, being the new colour of frog. But they've also brought about the witch. The one complaint about the witch would be that they didn't actually add the green thing on the hat. They have oversimplified it again. A bit like with the villager, the villager used to have detailing on the head and stuff, but in the newer sets, it just has a plain head with the eyes and stuff, instead of having a bit on the forehead. I think they should really stop oversimplifying, and if they bring back minifigures, have the same printing as before, or even more. Instead of making them less expensive, as in like, using less money to make them, maybe use more. Maybe make more printing, make more detail, make it more detailed and make it more realistic to the game, instead of trying to make it cheaper to make, sell it for more expensive price. So obviously we don't have the green thing on the hat anymore, but still we have the rest of the stuff that was on the witch before. So it has been simplified a bit. So the other witch is still quite rare because of that green thing on the hat, but still not as rare because the molded piece has been put in another set and it's come out this year. It's a very exciting thing to see that the witch has come and that's really cool. That's one thing though that I need to talk about is that they're oversimplifying too many of their minifigures like the villager or the witch. They're trying to get rid of printing instead of making things more detailed. I think they should take a different approach and try make it so they can make more detail and more realistic to the game as they can instead of trying to shy away from adding detail and just making it really cheaply made with less printing. So that was talking about the pumpkin farm in the LEGO Minecraft 2023 wave. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe up there. There's a video down there. Really hope you enjoyed. See you all next time.